Welcome to Excel video number two for the Macintosh computer. Today we're going to be working on displaying qualitative data in Excel. Qualitative data is data that describes qualities or categories. For example, if we were comparing population by countries, the political parties of registered voters in New Hampshire, or numbers in various majors in college, those are examples of qualitative data. The characteristic that we're going to work with now are eye colors of students in a math class. Notice that the eye colors and the frequency of the different types of eye colors have already been surveyed and entered into the workbook page. Two different types of displays are discussed in your text as appropriate for displaying qualitative data. The first is a pie chart. Pie charts are very easy to create. If you go to the charts tab, you'll notice in the ribbon below that there are many different options. And of course, because we're going to do a pie chart here, that is the option that we're going to select. But before that, we're actually going to select all of our data by left clicking and then highlighting all of the various data. Now notice eye color itself is not highlighted. You'll see why in just a moment. Now I'm going to go up and make a selection. Really any of these options are appropriate. Most people either use Pi, Exploded Pi, or 3D Pi. 3D exploded pie. I'm just going to pick regular pie chart for our particular application. Basically, that's all there is to it. We have to do a little bit of cleanup here, but notice that the chart embedded itself right onto the workbook page. If I go over any of the individual pie slices, I can see, for instance, that there were 15 items for blue, which made up 29% of our population. There were two values for green, which made up 4% of the population. Also notice that the title for our chart was actually what was in the column up here. If I go up here and change this to eye colors in our math class, Notice that by making a change in the actual cell, it then gets translated into the diagram. In this particular case, I would want to keep the legend. And voila, we have our pie chart. Now before we finish, remember we talked about in the introductory video that you should always label your sheet. So I'm going to go down to the sheet right now double click on that and change the name to I color pie chart. The other way that we can display qualitative data is by using a bar chart and for that I'm actually going to copy and paste the data that I have already here into a new sheet. So I've selected the data. Now I'm going to press Command C, which will copy it. And I can tell it's been copied because all around that outside edge, I can see that little hyphenated vibrating bar. I'm going to go down to the bottom of the page, click on the plus. That gives me sheet number two. And I'm going to use Command V to paste my data there. Now it's already been selected. So to create my bar chart. Uh, this time I'm going to go to column. Notice there is a bar chart option but that actually makes horizontal bars which for a bar chart is okay but usually we like columns. So I'm going to select column and I'm going to take the very simplest option the clustered column in the upper left hand corner. Notice when I do that I now have a bar chart. I can move that bar chart around on my page by moving the, the cross arrow cursors anywhere on the chart and then I can drag and pull it while I am left clicking. If I want to get it closer to my data, 
I also do not really need a legend like I did for the pie chart so I selected that and now I'm just going to press the delete key and get rid of that. If I wanted to add labels to this I can do so quite easily by going to chart layout. Notice I have a few different options there. I already have a chart title so I'm, I'm not really concerned about that but it would be nice to have some titles on my axes. I'm going to select title below axes and notice the box appears down here. I can just start typing. I'll type in eye color when I'm done I can just click off of that anywhere that I want. If I wanted to label my left hand column as frequency I could go again to axis title select vertical axis I'd like that rotated to the left now I can type in frequency and there I have it before I end the session, I'm going to go down to sheet number two, double click on that so I can change it to eye color bar chart. And we are good to go. I hope that you found this video useful and hopefully now you are all set to go for displaying qualitative data.